but yeah, nice, yeah. <laughs> it's, nice. it's my dad's 88th birthday today and um, we're going to walk the Osprey Trail which is this nearly two miles around Arlington Reservoir really lovely hawthorn absolutely full of berries here there's more up there yeah Right in the distance, we can see Arlington Church across the reservoir. So at the start, we've got the reeds, which have been planted as a habitat for nesting birds. So this grassland area is managed as wild flower meadows, which is probably lovely in the spring and summer, full of flowers. Walking along a path of fairly young oak trees. One of my favourite stopping places. It's just about 100 yards up here. This is field maple. Yeah. Mostly field maple, hazel, hawthorn. Some of the oaks were pollarded. They're cut at about 10 foot tall. 11 foot tall. It's quite a variety there actually. To four species of lichens, and uh, there's some more here. They look the same, but they are quite different. Some little tiny green ones are on mosses. The orange berries. Yeah, the orange berries now out on the spindle. Wonderful old oaks. You wouldn't think they were as young as they are. How old is this one? About 50 years old. That's not very old for an oak. What have you seen in the early morning when you've been here? Oh, rabbits, squirrels, and sometimes you know, blackbirds and different birds walking around trying to find worms and things. Now you've got this planted hedge along here and laid. This is an ancient part. And you get quite a more uh, understory that's important here not just a blank uh, floor that looks like gelder rose they've got like the leaves that are a bit like hands uh, yeah yeah it is like good ones and yeah typical leaf there's and, a lot of berries on this one and berries oh look at them down there more berries yeah. So directly opposite is pretty much where we started. No birds particularly well, from here. Waters up high, but you'll see them further around a bit. There's usually a few cormorants there. It's only recently that I can identify the different geese. I still don't know which is the difference between a shoveler and the, the different ducks. There's five different ducks here at least. The great crested grebe. <laughs> so there's up to 10,000 wildfowl spend their winters here. 10,000? 10,000. 10, yeah, but this year was a record. Over the summer, it's an important feeding area for the osprey. It's Arlington Church again in the distance there from 
the other side of the lake. Of course, all the dramatic flocks of geese flying overhead happened while I had the camera off. And right in the distance there on the hillside, very faint, is the White Man of Wilmington, which we don't quite know the date of, but possibly dating back to the Iron Age. And it's often more visible because the chalk outline probably needs a clean at the moment, so it's very faint, but it is visible there. It's a little wagtail having a wash there. And here's the way marker six. So over the winter, water is pumped into the reservoir from the river Cookmere, when there's enough water in the river to do so. And this building here is called the Valve Tower. Inside the tower is where the water is abstracted and then treated for drinking at the treatment works nearby. And then once that's done, it's distributed through the network across the southeast. Bit of yoga going on there, I think. <laughs> It's funny how they all stand on one leg, isn't it? Yes. Until they go to preen and then they fall over sometimes. So why do they do that? No why idea. do they stand on one leg? They jump. stick one leg up under their wing. Yeah. And I don't know why they do that. I'm going to have to research that. <laughs> Those two coots are not very friendly. Why do you say that? The coots are not particularly friendly. More hens are much more friendly. They look all right. Well, I like them <laughs> down there. This cute discrimination they going on here. Peck that uh, Canada goose's foot. There's two factions here. <laughs> look at this it's a grebe. Grebe going in between them. Oh. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> Love the lines they're making in the water as they swim, patterns, the ripples. So way marker seven is the barn owl nesting box, which is at the top of the pole up here. And there's a four of them around apparently. My dad tells me that there are no nesting barn owls at the moment. And he reckons they're just being used by the jackdaws or something. Not quite sure how he knows that, but there we go. So this is Lakeside Farm. This is where we started. But the final way marker is way marker eight and a pond, which we must have passed right at the beginning without noticing, and is home to three species of newt, including a rare and protected great crested newt. So something to look for on our next visit. Well, we're back where we started. Yeah, we're lucky to see all the geese because uh, um, we haven't seen them all week. I was hoping to see the heron. No, but... he hasn't been seen all week. But uh... the, the osprey has been seen once or twice going across the lake. Was it a good way to spend your birthday? <laughs> oh, I've enjoyed it, yes. It's my second walk, so I've done five miles. You've I done did, twice around I did the visit. at dawn this morning and there was a lovely golden dawn. Oh, I didn't get here early enough for that. No. <laughs>
here that's been waiting for us to return. Hello! <laughs> We've been all around the lake. Yes, I kept looking with the binoculars but and I couldn't see you until you got right up this end and then I saw you. Oh.